Hello and welcome. This is Aceless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Well, let us begin. Alright. Well, we're not going to do a whole bunch of coding on this tutorial. What I'm really going to do is I'm going to go a little deeper into uh, giving you an example and showing you how things interact. Uh, so that's the purpose of that. And towards that end, I am uh, putting up an image on my website which you should go to and get the uh, Robit 1 image and put it here in your drawables. Again, the easiest way to do that is to right click, go down here and uh, show in Explorer, and then simply drag and drop from whatever folder you've saved it in into this folder you want it to be saved in. Uh, drawables is the one I suggest because that's the one I use. All right, I'll wait till you get done with that. Well, now that you've got it saved here in Drawable, uh, what we're going to do is you're going to add this image view. And you just type in image view, and it's Android colon layout width wrap content, layout height wrap content. And we're going to use the layout gravity center horizontal. And it should be fairly quick to type all these because they will auto fill. Again, Android colon background equals Drawable robot. And when you're done with that, you go into design and that's what it looks like one other thing that I did and I wanted to show you is it's called an image view one of the things that I wanted to show you with image view is if well actually it's layout what I was talking about okay the layout the whole layout itself you can change the background to the layout and the one I did was I clicked here I did this and I use this custom color picker and what that allows you to do is to pick a color anywhere on the screen that you want to use as your color and I simply clicked here on the image and got the red closest material color match so that way the background if it should leak out a little bit will match a little bit better it doesn't make a huge difference or, uh, if you do that or not but I wanted to show you the color picker so there's that all right so we've got this and you're thinking to yourself why would we want to put an image I think working with images uh, lets you see things in a different light. It, it gives you a better idea of perspective and things of that nature. I think it's a lot easier to learn certain things about uh, your apps uh, with the graphics. Because graphics, they act different than text. So let's, let's just trust me on this one. I think this really is a, um, a better idea. I want to got a whole bunch of things open I'm not using. All right, so um, when you've got it, all programmed you got all your code in here what we're going to do is we're going to go into my activity java and this is where you've got this code right here and if you run it um, which i'll do right now i've already got the emulator open so it should look like that yes all right now and if you turn it with control F11 it'll switch over to like that and you'll see that's that's quite uh, quite different uh, because it's filling the space provided it's stretching the graphic uh, so that that's one of the reasons I use graphics so it shows you how the space is used alright so we'll go back to F11 alright now what we want to do here is I suggested that you get rid of uh, this section uh, right here last time in order to see what happened so we're actually gonna do that go to code highlight it go to code and comment with block comment and just get rid of it and then run again all right and it's gonna be quite different Yes. Now you can see that the two activities, that the, um, the one activity that has the two different fragments in it. You can see the button fragment and the main panel fragment here. Now the main panel fragment is actually behind the button fragment. And because that's the way we've set it up in our uh, uh, main panel layout, like this. So if you click on the fragment, you can see this that's how the fragments that fragment is set up 
and that has held that fragment. So that is behind, and that one's in front. So when you turn off that, that uh, in, in main activity, it shows both of them because it's calling both of them instead of just calling both of them and then turning one off essentially. So if you turn it landscape, I'll show you what I did. Control F11. All right. Now yours won't look like this uh, or, or shouldn't. So what I did was I went into here and landscape design and I moved the fragments around so that they would show uh, in the perspective spaces that I wanted them to show. And that's what we're going to do, uh, part of our example in layout activity. And then you can come back here and fix your uh, landscape the way that you want it. So let's go back to layout activity. And basically you just grab this and right of side panel. See that message at the top? That is telling it Right down here, fragment, side panel, right of sand panel, end of. So this right here is telling it to put it to the right of the side panel. So that's all it's doing. And now when you run it, it'll look a little different. Take a second to load. So much faster when you run it on your own Android phone. There you go. It still does look funny, but you can tell that it's compressed the entire thing into this space. Uh, and these are just these aspects and changes and ratios are things that you're going to need to be aware of when you're building your own apps. Um, that's one of the things that all these different folders over here, you'll see there's a whole different whole bunch of different uh, sizes dimensions and things of that nature that's why they're there um, so that you can do a different sizes and different dimensions for different uh, variations of whatever you're creating for uh, for instance if you wanted to create a, a one for a uh, phone like this and one for a large tablet you could actually make the format different based on the, those parameters anyway so that's what I was, was showing you and that's basically what I did here. So if you wanted to go into here and just simply drag this and take the corners until it dropped into what it looks should look like uh, until these both match. And all right, now I wanted to do something else. All right, so I've got that highlighted and this highlighted. So um, I added this other code and I will show you as soon as I unhighlight this, unhide this. It's basically, this right here is an else, sta else statement. And basically what you do is you come down here, you highlight this, you bring it up here and you put it inside your else statement. This else statement is actually this. And all I did was I created a new variable button panel to represent the button panel find view and I use the ID main panel and I just I just said it else this way basically what this does is this if if this is a landscape this will show just the landscape view if it's a portrait it will just show the button the portrait view will just show the button panel so that's what we're going to look at next. So uh, it's else, curly braces, and then view. And then I use, you don't have to use this if you want to. You can come up with your own variable. Equals find view by ID, write ID dot main panel. And a lot of this will uh, self-populate. And then follow this with, and basically it's a copy and paste, copy and paste. All you got to do is change this right here. Um, that's the best kind of code. Um, you'll end up doing a, lo a lot of that, of copying uh, code from one place to the other and changing it slightly. All right, so now that you've got one, now once you've got that in place, we're going to run it and see what happens. All 
right, we've got it up and we've got it in portrait view. All right, then portrait view. Or maybe I said that backwards. But anyway, in portrait view, you've only gone to one fragment now. This is just one fragment. So, control F11. Now, you've only got, yeah, I think I did say that backwards. Anyway, now that you're in landscape view, you've only got the button panel. There is no other panel showing. Now, you could go back inside if you wanted to and change the parameters in your XML file so that this filled the whole screen. But I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to show you that this, this effect, this removing of the panels. You don't have to show both panels. There can only be one panel if you so choose. Um, so it's just a different view and a different concept of how, how this works that I wanted you to be able to see. And I wanted to illustrate it using graphics because it just seems easier to uh, see things and especially aspect ratios with graphics. So I uh, hope that helped a little bit. I hope that uh, broadened your understanding of how fragments work and how to use them. Uh, for your homework, you could go in there and you just uh, make this bro broader so that it would fill the entire screen. If, it, if you so chose, you could do that. Uh, it would be pretty easy, actually. So this is Aceless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Um, hope you learned something. Uh, please come back and thumbs up and subscribe.